others, them, them know me. Since 06, I've been writing the story. I know the OG, but if you ask them, them know me. I know the blow trees. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome or welcome back to the Curly Haired Sandbar. I apologize for the delay, but we are back with another episode of Mars Legacy. So currently we are here with the Mars children and they are trying to run a lemonade and ice cream stand. So here I'm just getting the hang of it. I wasn't sure how to make the food get set up, but eventually I do figure it out. Um, There we go. I got it figured out and I didn't realize that I didn't have to lay out all the individual cups I could have just put out the jug and the sims would get their own cup kind of like how they're gonna do with the ice cream you'll see in a minute it's super cute all three of the kids participated um J NJ so we're gonna call him NJ made the ice cream Niklaus made the lemonade and candy made is basically was just bo bossing everybody around typical oldest daughter stuff you know <laughs> so I had a couple of interesting things so before this part I downloaded a mod called the celebrate adoption mod I'll insert it on the screen and it is so cute that's where I got the shirts on from the beginning when they were posing and I believe that's going to be the thumbnail they had these shirts on and that, is, that say officially family and it's super cute. The shirts came from that mod. Also came with a new trait for the children, for the adopted child, and an aspiration for the adoptee parent. So I gave Callie that that um, aspiration, and I gave J NJ Jaden the traits. So he no longer has the athletic trait. He now has the adopted trait. We can give him back the athletic trait when he ages up but for now I think this is cool let's see how much money these kids can make oh it also the model also comes with a two books that you can read that are aimed at teaching you all about adoption they do give your sims a parenting skill but candy Callie is already maxed out in the parenting skills so but she still read it anyway so she got some very good information on how to approach Jade and Jay and how to talk to him so that one was really helpful that you saw her reading that in the beginning as well also in the beginning you guys saw you guys got to see a little bit of this is super cute I had to get some pictures in the beginning you guys saw a little bit of NJ's new room set up I just added his dresser and some little knickknacks here and there. I added him and an adopted certificate, which also came with the Celebrate Adoption mod. The mod is very like, has a lot of little details that really just add some realism to the game. Um, I'll go through the aspiration in a bit. It also comes with new interactions where the adopted child can ask about the birth parents, they can ask you know, am I really a permanent part of this family and all kind of little things. And it's a little heartbreaking, some of the responses, but we'll get to that. We're going to get to all that this part. We're also going to be celebrating Easter this part. So there will be a bit of a time jump between Friday, which you guys see me playing now, and Sunday. Pretty much all of Saturday is going to be skipped. And it looks like Naveen got a promotion. Naveen has been promoted to Master of Machines. He's now making an additional 99 per hour for a grand total of 412 per hour. He also received the following bonuses. Frank, 
batting $3,125. His next shift is Monday at 3 p.m. He is the master of machines. He's off Saturday, Sunday, and Thursday. Pretty nice shift. Good for you, Naveen. Proud of you, my boy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and bring out these sandwiches I had. Callie made these a little bit earlier for everybody. So we can just go ahead and eat these for dinner since nobody really ate any for lunch. For the longest part of this, I must have at some point while I was recording the last part, disabled needs. And for the longest part of this part, I did not realize I had done that. And I was trying to figure out why it wasn't anybody's needs going down. And uh, I finally figured it out at some point in the video. Starting to get really dark out here, but the kids are still going. Callie is still out here with them. So I guess it's okay. These little fruit snacks I gave Jaden last time have completely spoiled. So we need to get rid of all of those. So it's getting late, but Callie's out here with them, so they're safe. And they're definitely making some money, which I'm very proud of them for doing. And I'm on I got this uh let me show you guys this trait if i can find it oh there it is it says adopted these sims need more attention than other sims so be aware of their social needs adopted sims need help with their emotional control but are extremely empathetic so that is his new trait and then she has the adoptive family adoptive family so I went ahead and basically went through the first one because she already talked to the family about adoption. She They already adopted. He's already here. They didn't say $5,000, but I went, Jaden, NJ is already here, so I felt like let's just go ahead and skip that. But we do have to talk, tell our kid that, we're, that they're adopted, which I feel like, duh, he knows he's adopted. He knows who his parents were. And um, the rest of these are kind of standard like read to a child for two hours and things like that but still fun nonetheless we're gonna go through them and as they come and see that's when i discovered that i could have just put the lemonade out there and they could have just grabbed it instead of me having to do individual cups but it's cool i don't know for next time because they're definitely gonna do this again maybe not candy because candy will be aging up next part but the boys can run it again just the two of them. I'd say Niklaus is a pretty proud father coming home and seeing his 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 children working hard to make a living of their own. And what are these twins doing? Both in here wrecking. Both in here wrecking. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and. <laughs> Let's start putting people to bed. Speaking of pe putting people to bed, Smokey has found a nice comfortable bed right next to this, these sandwiches. As long as he ain't eating them. As long as he's not eating them. And what is Aaron doing here 11 at night? But what are we doing running a lemonade stand at 11 at night? Niklaus, why are you riding, practice riding your bike right now? Chaos. This is what it is to have a full household. Nothing but pure chaos. But, you know, more chaos, more fun, right? While the adults do adult things, I let the kids help themselves to some ice cream for dinner. And then I'm gonna let them all go to sleep. I think it's super cute. I feel like they're bonding quite well. Look at them sitting together. She's imitating Smokey, which is super sweet. She's needs some fun, so I'm gonna let her play it with her sister. Might as well. Okay, so we finally got most of the household sleeping. I figured now is good as good as the time of as any to go ahead and have some of these more difficult conversations with NJ. I just I'm trying to figure out how to do it but it's easier so you get click on him and you have him the child the person with the trait 
ask their parents questions. So right now I just had them ask about his parents. And he's very sad. Unfortunately, there are no current records for, of the birth parents for Jade and Nathan. That saddens your son. Maybe in time they will be able to do some research of their own. So, that doesn't follow the storyline that I've given you guys. But, let's just say he is sad because he's just sad. He's talking about his parents' death, basically. Because he knows who his parents were. He has a picture of them sitting on by the piano. We already established that lower last part. They died in a car accident. He knows this, but that just makes them sad. So let's go ahead and ask him. Let's go ahead and ask another question. Let's see how this one feels. I hope they don't all make him sad. And she doesn't have any buffs, which I wish she did. I wish she had some, like, at least shared sadness, because he said, it says adopted conversations. It's always nice hearing about my adoption story, but it also leaves me feeling a little disconnected. Will this feel, ever feel like my real family? Adopted Sims can ask for reassurance whenever they feel disconnected. That is very sad and yes this is your will be your real family in due time in due time it will feel like your real family I, well, at least we hope it will so let's ask for some reassurance what is this baby doing awake girl in the klaus you two both of y'all out here doing stuff y'all ain't supposed to do Okay, let's see what he says. Birth parent. We already did that one. A friend's two cents. Being around a sim that cared enough to give helpful advice gives Jaden and Nathaniel a burst of energy. Okay. So he feels like he's been given some good advice. And reassured, Jaden feels better after talking with their loved ones. They know they're a permanent part of his family. I'm glad you know it, Jaden, because you definitely are a permanent part. And then he wants to write in it, write his emotions out in his journal. You can definitely do that. We can definitely be done with this conversation. And you can go write in your journal. I bought it thinking he might need it, and he really does. Anyways, let's go have everybody go to sleep and then we're gonna go ahead and skip forward a bit. My computer literally just like crashes and burns and I lose most of the footage from here on out, which is why we're going to go ahead and skip to Sunday. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so not quite Sunday, Saturday night, which is cool. And I wanted to show you guys what I did do, what you guys missed is I... J and Naveen was working on a chatterbox in the intro. He finished it and he put got some shelves up there. I'm going to have him working on some other different machinery and stuff and probably have him sell those for some cash, some fast cash. It's probably a good way to get him some more money quicker. I might make him make a bunch of them and do a yard sale so he can get even more money for him. For him. But we will see. In the meantime, let's go ahead and have some kids come around and do some cleaning because they need to earn a keep. Why is my cat sad? I feel like I need to reset him. Because I have been trying to get Nicklaus to interact with the cat for like the last five minutes. And it just was not working. Just wasn't doing it. I don't know. This is like the third time I've had to reset my cat. And it's not the shirt, because the shirt is not custom content. It's just regular in-game CC. I don't know. My boy is sick. Every There was a bug going around. Everybody got sick at one point or another. I had to buy so much medicine. 
but um i think we're coming down to the last of it let's check niklaus's badge progress i believe we did this last part too but he's almost i want him to complete these collections before he ages up to teenager if he can athletic um outdoor adventure he can get the f um this fitness one by dancing so let's go ahead and have them all come into the thing's room because he does have a little radio here and have them you know bust a move together bond i had to move the radio over here because they could not reach it to dance i don't know why they gotta reach it to dance but whatever this is a better look up of his little his newer area setup that i added super cute i don't know if it's too grown up for a kid but there's toys in here so i don't know <laughs> there's a picture of him and candy on his dresser because you know candy loves taking pictures so she gave him a copy and she kept a copy for her wall she wanted to add her new brother to her collage of photos she got going on look at them busting a move being super cute not only is Niklaus getting them badges oh it's a party now everybody coming in here Y'all need to work on y'all moves. Y'all need to work on y'all moves. Alright, I think that's quite enough. Candy, Callie needs to make some food. Five kids later, I'm still calling Callie Candy. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm um, going to get some pizza going and Niklaus did finish get his last badge so I'm gonna go ahead and have him collect that badge and he should level up in the scouts yes he was promoted very good and pizza is done I wish I could just like grab it out of there but I can't so let's go ahead and have her serve the meal I'm sorry that I play with my walls down so much. I'm trying to get better at playing with the walls up. But it's just be hard to see sometimes. I don't know. I need to see what my sims are doing. I wanted to be cinematic for y'all, but I also need to see what they're doing. Oh, he got another trophy for leveling up. So I imagine when he levels up to the next one, it'll be gold probably. My boy, my boy, my boy. I'm doing great things. Alright, so the pizza is done. Let's just go ahead and get it off to the side right here. And let's go ahead and have everybody grab a serving. Oh, the twins are fully potty trained now. So they'll, they'll, they'll go and they'll use it on their own. Or I'll tell them to. But either way, just that I'll update y'all on that. Twins progress. They're making great progress. And Niklaus' sickness is in full swing, so he definitely needs to take this medicine now. Hopefully that'll be the last round of the sickness throughout the house. And let's go ahead and have everybody go to sleep after they eat, because we are getting up early. We are going to church, you know, I believe, I don't know how many episodes ago it was, but the, the Mars went to the Maze church, because, you know, um... I think John is his first name, but Mace, Pastor Mace, Reverend Mace, we're going to his church, and but we're not actually gonna go. We're gonna for Easter. You have to attend the holiday ceremony, so the holiday ceremony will be at Reverend May's church. Then after that, we'll go to Reverend May's house to have like lunch. Yes, a little, little nightlight action going on there. Whatever's left of this pizza, I'm probably just going to let them eat it in the morning for breakfast because I don't think we'll have time to make any breakfast. I do have them some matching fits. And I wanted them to go to breakfast, go to church by 8 a.m., so I don't know that we're going to have time to like get pictures and all the stuff in the matching fits. 
But just know they go in the church as a unit, okay? All right, everybody is sleeping. I slowed down the time to speed too because I didn't want it to go too fast and now I have time to wake up everybody early enough to get them ready for church. But I can go ahead and queue up some of the things that I want them to do, her to do, like her to just go straight to the bathroom and then take a shower first thing in the morning. And then go ahead and put on her outfit. They're, all the Mars are wearing different shades of purple. I wanted specifically lavender, but it was harder to do that than I thought it was going to be. But it's cool. They still, you know, step, step. While Callie is doing her thing, getting herself ready, I have Naveen going around waking everybody up. And then I'm going to have him pull out this pizza and then call everybody to the meal. After he wakes up everybody. I didn't have him wake up the twins though, so let me go ahead and get them up as well. So that they can grab everybody to eat before church. And yes, the Mars are that family that only go to church on special occasion. Unfortunately, unfortunately. Maybe the next generation will be more diligent about going to church. Who knows? <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and have her spray some perfume on after she gets in her little fit. Looking cute, smelling good, ready to go praise the Lord in his house. It's officially Easter. And then we need to start getting babies and children dressed up and all the good things. Let me get started with that. Definitely gonna have to run these outfits back. They look so 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 good. I should have wish I got some family photos in these pictures. I always want to get family photos with them, to be honest. Because their family's always growing and changing, and there's always a new sim to add to the family photos. In the pictures I took at the beginning, I just took them for the thumbnail. I didn't even think about getting fit pictures for like their walls. So definitely need to take some new photos now that NJ is a part of the family. But look at him. He's so handsome in his little purple suit. <laughs> and look at Kinsley in her little lavender dress. I mean, he got on his his tux. That could have find a purple, a decent looking purple tux for Naveen, but he got a little purple in his tie, so that's good enough. And then we're gonna go ahead and um travel to the ceremony because they're already late and I just realized the twins can't come and that makes me very sad but technically the, the twins are going to go off a lot when Callie and Naveen leave they're going to be sent to daycare so we'll just pretend that they are at church as well and what is Nicholas doing in these pajamas he should be in his Sunday best dress so let's go ahead and put him in his suit. When I tell you these sims done to put me through it, I tried to get his camera out to get the picture before they left. Niklaus and Ken Callie kept changing into hot weather wear instead of wearing their little fits. But at least y'all can get a good look of everybody in their little outfits now since nobody wanted to take cute pictures with the camera. Like I tried so hard. I tried to get it out in time. And look out. By the time the camera pop up everybody is gone except for Callie and Candy I think Jaden is over there too but I can't see him in the camera so it's just it's just a bus it's just a wash okay church is over so the Mars have come straight over to the maze along with um, Brooke and her wife Julia and Emily who looks a lot different she is now a teenager now definitely 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 gonna give her an, an uh, makeover before the next part so that you know her and Candy and August can hang out as teenagers. Oh, I can't wait to see it. I can't believe really we're anyway. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. Let's go ahead and form a group. Let's 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 add, let's add her to the, our household so that we can get her cooking some food. And while she's cooking some food, we'll have the kids do an Easter egg hunt so that there's no time wasted really. So I'm forming a group with all the children that are here today, toddlers and kids. 
and I'm gonna have them come outside to start their Easter little Easter egg hunt but they can really hunt eggs anywhere but I thought it would be super cute to have them come outside and hunt them so we're gonna do that instead so first I'm gonna have them all come here together and then I'm gonna have them like break off and to start <laughs> searching through the bushes for eggs which I think this is so cute this is such a cute little detail sometimes the sims get it right and Easter egg hunting and I didn't even realize that when you hunt it for Easter eggs that you get the little jade little eggs in your inventory which I didn't realize it until, the, until I was basically done recording and I'm definitely going to pull those out and display those somewhere in the Mars family house probably in the garage and I'm a former group with all the adults as well Poor Emily, just not in either group. <laughs> I don't think she's here yet, to be fair, though. Like, she's not enough to partake. So I'm going to have all the adults come and grab a drink while Miss May, Mrs. Mays finish um, cooking. I told her to cook like three things, but she ends up only making sandwiches, which is cool. But not really an Easter dinner, but maybe cooking in her strong suit, you know? <laughs> Maybe, maybe this is not just a thing. We thought have e church Easter at the maze after church because that just makes sense because they are being, you know, they're, they're the maze. They're a good Christian family. Of course we're going to do Easter at their house, but next time we're going to bring the food. <laughs> Definitely going to bring the food. Look at my babies hunting for eggs. This is just such a cute, like, I mean, it's the anim I mean, they're not really doing much with the anim animation. They're not, like, they're just kind of looking and finding. They're not, like, like, imagine if they had them doing, like, the digging emoji, um, they did the digging, um, animation like they do in the sandbox when they're making a sandcastle. That would have been so cute. So the flower bunny is here, but I don't, I really am too focused on trying to make sure the party is okay. So I forget to even interact with the flower bunny, but it's cool because this is a Christian household anyway. Forget that. <laughs> forget the East flower bunny. I don't know. And I thought, I re look how cute this little bunny is holding all these eggs. I just thought that was super cute. And Charlie May has aged up into a child now, as you guys can see. So the maids now have two children age sims and they have one infant not infant toddler the infant aged up into a toddler as well all right all the kids coming in and get they this they little sandwiches i hope she made enough for everybody because i mean it's plenty of drinks going around the adults are helping themselves. It's just I'm like, and what, and what is Callie wearing? Where, why is she wearing that? I didn't realize her formal wasn't, her lavender dress wasn't in her formal. I'll change it in a bit, but that's not, neither here nor there. I'm too focused on trying to make sure everybody's having a decent time. You never know how events are going to go in The Sims, to be honest. And, I, and of course I want to have my kids keep looking for eggs every chance they get. Whenever I click on something and that egg pop up, like that's why I'm clicking on stuff in the house right now. I'm trying to see where else they can search. It seems like mostly like seats on the inside. You would think they would be able to search any and everything. Like plants should have eggs in them. But for sure the chairs have eggs in them. Oh, and I meant to have them, the men come outside and play pool. Totally forgot to do that too, but it's cool. <laughs> Juliet just arrived, and look at her and Brooke being cute, of course. Mrs. May, Mrs. May says, y'all ain't about to mess up my house now. 
Gotta get this dishwasher going. Lord, my babies. Who? They need to take care of themselves. Well, that's Naveen. He need to take care of himself. He grown man. He's feeling flirty. That um, that bubbly got him feeling very flirty. Yeah, Wait, my baby gotta use the potty too. I wonder if there's a toddler seat anywhere. It should be because they have toddlers. Charlie just aged up and so let's just click this and see if shit it tells her to Yep, okay, there's a potty somewhere in here. She'll find it. And I did have I tried to like purchase a cake, but it just wouldn't pop up. I guess I gotta have like my sim has to own it for it to pop up. She can share the love. Let's have her share the love. Cause she's a charming sim. See, I'm still looking for eggs. That's why I'm clicking on random things. Just to see. I'm more interested in this egg hunt than anything else, to be honest. My kids need to go home with a, you know, they gotta have a good Easter. And I already ignored the flower bunny, so definitely need to make sure we get find as many eggs as possible. I don't know. <laughs> oh, and there is Emily. She is fashionably late. But she looks just like her mom. She's even wearing purple like her mom. And I did not choose her outfits, which I think it's funny that she's wearing purple. And there my computer goes again. Let me go ahead and save right now before I have another disaster. All the children have congregated around the TV. They're watching Boondocks, which I find quite funny. I imagine Jaden is introducing them to Boondocks. But either way, it's just funny. to. I feel like the maze children probably have never even heard of this show. But that's just like kids. They'd be like, look at this show. Oh, you ain't gonna get in trouble for watching it. Just watch it. <laughs> Super funny. And so the event is over. It said, well, it was a party at least. I mean, not a fun party, but you know, it's a party. <laughs> uh, we weren't hosted in any way. It was the maze party. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and head on home. Alright, so we're home and we're going to have to go ahead and head on to bed. This is the egg collection I was talking about earlier that I'm going to display. I think it's super cute. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this part. Sorry if it's a little short. Like I said, I lost so much footage. But um, I'll see you guys not next week, but the week after that with another episode of Mars Legacy. Next week, you guys might get a lookbook type of cast video. So you can take it or leave it depending on if you like those type of videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.